Hey everybody, it's me Megs and today I'm going to show you guys how I applied this wig and this wig is the Amanda from my first wig and of course it comes in this really nice box here that I also love because it's nice and sturdy and this wig sleeve that I keep all my wigs in when I'm not using them. So this wig is a lace front wig and it has three combs in here and one at the bottom which sometimes I remove or and sometimes I don't. And there also is an adjustable strap in the back for extra securing and there also is lace at the nape so you can bond the lace down in the back if you want to throw her up in a ponytail so the two wigs are in the I mean the two combs are in the middle of the wig and the front is fully laced and this is really nice thin lace I've never seen lace this thin on my first wigs and I'm really impressed now as you can see, I applied the wig. I did wash and deep condition it first before, you know, applying. And as you can see, this lace is really, really thin and it is pre-plucked. And of course, you can pre-pluck it a little bit more to get a really, really natural um, hairline. And um, I, I seen that the wig cap that I had on was a little too light. So I decided to use the wig cap that came with the wig and it was still a bit too light. So I decided to apply a bit of foundation now i think with this wig you might have to use the bald cap method because the cap is still showing through lace and that's a good problem <laughs> i feel in my opinion um this is really really good here um so as you can see you still can see it through there so i have to do some sort of you know manipulating so you won't see the wig cap underneath the lace so what i'm gonna do now i'm actually gonna cut the lace on uh, with the wig on because I need to see exactly where I need to cut it and I'm not cutting it really straight across and kind of using jagged edges because I'm actually gonna glue this down and I rarely glue wigs down but because the hairline is so nice on this I wanted to really you know um, experiment with you know gluing it all the way down now I don't glue my wigs down all the time though but I'm using Ben Nye spirit gum and this is the matte adhesive and this bad boy lasts okay last so I it comes with a little brush so I apply a really nice thin but kind of generous amount and kind of let it get tacky and then what I'm gonna do is just put it fairly like over my hairline I don't want it to match up with my hairline because I want to make sure my edges stay nice and intact so I use an old wig cap and I press in the lace this way and this helps avoid any kind of like um, residue any sticking of the glue and things like that so I kind of let it dry so it gets a little uh, tacky and it just kind of melts right in so as you can see this lace is really really bomb and of course I could probably pluck a little bit more out of there to get a real real good look um, and also you could do baby hair with this I'm not a baby hair girl so I'm just gonna leave it kind of like this so I'm just gonna proceed to apply the glue all the way around and making sure that it's nice and neat like so this lace is really thin and I'm really impressed so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the glue all the way around and tack it on down and this glue lasts okay like hours and even days <laughs> so this is all the way on and the, the glue is not all the way dry so this will dry all the way matte and melt in and of course if you decide to kind of do some wispy baby hairs it's going to be completely undetectable so since my wig cap is still kind of showing through the lace which is a good problem in my opinion <laughs> um i'm just going to kind of do like a sweep over with the wig um so that the parting won't show because my foundation is a little too bright so i'm just going to do that and i'm just going to apply some kind of layers in this wig just to give it more of a more of a shape and a more natural look versus just having it being one length so i'm just going to go ahead and take my time and just kind of play with the hair and find areas that I feel like I want it to have more of a layered look so of course the top is going to be a bit shorter and then I'm going to work my way down so I just kind of go in random spots 
And as you can see, it's starting to have way more life on that side, as you can see. And the other side is a little more flat. I love curly hair that has more shape and body to it. And this hair is so, so, so soft. And I really love the density of this wig. So all the stats of this wig will be down in the description for you guys to check out as well. And of course, you can kind of like diffuse this hair and make it the curls pop a bit more um, since I kind of like I'm like really messing through the hair. So the, the curls are kind of getting a bit frizzy, but I like this kind of effortless kind of like easy breezy um, look with the curls. So yeah, it's actually coming along. So I'm going to take some Vonte um, spritz and I'm just going to kind of like mold the front of the hair how I want it and this hair feels really really good it felt good straight off the pack too but of course I washed my wigs before applying them and I really love this Vonte spray it gives the hair a nice hold and a nice shine too so I'm just gonna apply this in areas that I see fit and mold it into place and of course I apply some bobby pins towards the top of the wig just to avoid that um, height at the top that sometimes when you wear wigs the top can get kind of high for no reason so I put bobby pins at the top to make sure it stays flat so yeah this is pretty much the final look I absolutely love this wig I feel like in my opinion this is one of their better wigs as far as how the lace looks the lace is super bomb and super nice and thin and you can really really make this look super super crazy natural and I love that I applied the layers in it to give it more of a natural look and I love the density of this wig it's not too much hair and it's not too little um, of a density so it's nice and natural and it's really cute when you throw this up in a ponytail I've worn this in a ponytail with a cute visor and I've got so many compliments on it so yeah I really really love this wig and of, of course I think a different method with the wig cap that bald kind of wig cap method is ideal for this okay I wouldn't suggest using it just like this oh, but of course you can put a little um you know a eyeshadow to kind of cover that up some you know some powder in that area to cover up the wig cap so you won't see it through there so yes y'all i'm feeling real cute and um if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me and all the details about this wig will be down in the description below and as always i'll see you guys later